in a lump sum Each day spray too We change the game like the replay rule And we so out of debt But I ain't hit a model yet I rhyme tighter than a cook in a bottleneck <laughs> One, two, three, and the spear got me peeing Pissing like a racehorse, nature's about to take course The crap game is now uno when I draw two And that goes for them cops, nigga, all you In the meantime, I told Iron Shit that brings sirens Beef becomes a bygone, you buy gone Now I think you better leave time Assuming that I gotta ease mine And I won't squeeze nines Coke sales, hit me on my celly still I'm that bent over, rubbing on your belly L. I will poop on you. Yo, what's up, what's up, world? It's your girl, Mahama Kiyo, and that's saying Joe Bird, and we checking out Hip Hop TV, alright? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Per se, a lot of the times, to, um, to support you is it from a fan stand base. They're coming out to critique you. Let me see how she holds the microphone. Right. So deep yeah. Up, yeah. Yeah. Can she really freestyle? Is she? Yeah. That's coming out to critique you. Yeah, yeah. To critique to find an era so they so they can move into your slot. Yeah. So the yeah. fan base is actually protecting yeah. themselves. Right. Don't have no fan base. Yeah. Everybody, everybody think they can do it. Right. You know? And they're tracking to the wrong places monetary. They just wanted the celebrity that come along with the those yeah. the perks that come with the game. So I just wanted to know our place, the corporate and the hip hop, you know? Because I see a little bit of a walk since hip hop here is not as old as hip hop in the States, you know? And now it's only getting exposure from the media. But I think that the artist overall has to get with the times in the aspect of it being a multi-billion dollar industry globally. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're, in the, again, to reiterate, we're in the information age. And so if you deem yourself to be important and you're serious about wanting to sign, if you saying that you want to shop a demo, which is obsolete this day, uh, obsolete method of getting a record deal is th today. But if you're saying to yourself you want to live off your craft, the moment that you want to, you're considering entering into contracts, you're saying that you're a business person, yeah. and you and you're willing to to put to put conditions connected to your soul and your spirit mm -hmm. on the line. You're selling yourself in that aspect. So if you don't take control or authority over your destiny in that aspect, what you're really saying is that you're prostituting yourself. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that, to remedy that is to educate yourself about the business of music. Because it's 85% yeah. business, maybe 10% talent and five, the rest, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you kind of like, you can, you can see it today, you can see it in the climate of some very successful artists that aren't as nearly as talented as, like, say, a quality or somebody, but they're multi-talented, they're multi-successful, they're billionaires or millionaires mm -hmm. or whatever, because they, they understand the business of music and yeah. they have a team of people that are knowledgeable and skilled in the areas of business to help implement a plan to make them successful. Yes. So I feel like, but at the end of the day, you're talking about a handful of people that either know how to work the system and they're, or they're comfortable with compromising their ownership rights, which I personally would never do that because I understand the business. I've been through every gamut from promoting to being an artist myself and, and a businesswoman now. Um, you just have to educate yourself about it and you have to be willing to dedicate that amount of time and energy to your own craft. At the end of the day, it's your lineage and destiny that, you tra tra that you're transferring down to your children and all of this. You lead a day tomorrow. If I lead a day tomorrow, my children at least have my masters. Who knows what they'll be worth when I'm gone? Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I feel like I, it's worth it for me to invest that kind. The same money I would spend on a pair of custom dunks is the same money that I could use to get a microphone. Yeah. And, 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 and the same hot shirt that I got on in the same true religion jeans, they're like two, three hundred dollars, you know what I mean? That it's it's about um um renewing your mind so to speak to think in a way that's more um conducive to you growing and empowering yourself in that way. And you have to surround yourself with people that, that are gonna help cultivate that mindset, but you have to decide that you want to do that what? A, a textbook probably is like about 25 bucks or something like that. Yeah. And a pair of sneakers or a pair of custom kicks with your face or your logo on it is what? three times that like I mean what's the mentality of that if you're a business person then you should start begin to train yourself up to be that
and associate yourself with people that are going to encourage and support that mindset. But I'm not going to lie to you and say it's an easy route because it is a very scenic and very challenging route, but I feel like I'm worth it at the end of the day to at least attempt to do that. You know, it's gotten me this far. You know what I mean? Like, I just can't stop, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying?